Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Naked Audio Review. This is Yong from SG Audio Hive. Today we will be reviewing the Plaxstone G5. It's a wireless, low latency gaming headphones. Plaxstone is an electronics company uh, dealing with audio products and uh, dongles for phones and computer, but they are mainly targeted at gamers. And uh, so there is a lot of gaming products. Uh, especially audio products uh, that they have in their portfolio and today we'll be going through uh, one of the headphones the Plexstone G5 okay they are kind enough to send me a unit for review and uh, you can get this about 25 US dollars so about 30 something dollars in Singapore and I'll put the links to them in the description below uh, where you can buy them okay so what's in the box we have done an unboxing video of this already, so uh, everything is uh, <coughs> taken apart. So we have the headphones itself. This is the G5 headphones. It comes with uh, this uh, detachable boom mic. So they are quite flexible and uh, it's going to be attached on the left cup. like this okay so instruction manuals uh, USB-C cable for charging this one supports fast charge oh we'll go through the specs later and uh, I think this is a 0.8 oh it's 1.2 meter aux cable it's for uh, wired option to your desktop or your phone if you want to use it uh, in a wired configuration user manual this is quite important because there's uh, some functions that uh, you need to go through okay I'll just take a look at the specs together with you okay okay so initially uh, when I received this product I took it out of the box and I saw the wire and such I thought that is uh, wired headphones because for 20 25 US dollars uh, this is really cheap I didn't expect to get a wireless so I didn't really pair it up to test. Instead, I <laughs> plugged in the wire and tested the sound quality and etc. It's until I was fiddling with the buttons, then I realized uh, there's a USB-C port. Then it occurred to me that eh, this is actually a Bluetooth headphones. Okay, so the Bluetooth uh, very standard. They support a uh, 30 feet range, uh, about 10 meters. Very standard for Bluetooth headphones. And uh, it's using Bluetooth 5.1 with 45 ms milliseconds low latency mode. Okay, this is in line with all the newer generation uh, Bluetooth headphones. Uh. For example, the Gravel Star, the Gravel Star TWS earbuds, they are using the same uh, technology, uh, which in fact, uh, when I've tested it in gaming, it feels like there is actually no lag but we'll go into that later uh, with the gaming test so we have this uh, ENC detachable cable supports HD clear voice we'll do a mic test later the weight of the headphone is uh, 245 gram 245 grams this is considered quite light Okay, so I was quite shocked with the build quality, we will expect it, it to be very plasticky, uh, and so I mean, being so light, right? You expect it not to be uh, of a very good quality, but these are slightly rubberized, kind of a plastic, and they feel very solid. The creaking is very standard. Actually, you can see you can do such a bend, and uh, everything is uh, it's not breaking. Yeah, it's not breaking. Okay, so we have this 8 section uh, adjustable metal arm. And of course, it's foldable. So you can leave it in your drawer. Okay, this thing supports uh, fast charging via USB C. Uh, it takes about 2.5 hours to fully charge it uh, up to about 20% charge in 30 minutes. Yeah. The 450 mAh battery uh, has 
is rated for 36 hours of music playback. So uh, in our testing, we were not able to drain the battery. So I do not know the actual life, but uh, they are really good. I've been using them for a few days on and off gaming mode on and everything have yet to drain the battery. Okay, so this one has a over year design. That means the year math goes over your year. So your year are inside here. So there is a fair bit of uh, isolation. It's actually a very good isolation uh, for a earphone this size because these are not really very big. But okay, as we can feel, uh, the ear pads are very plush. And this is a uh, very soft PU material. So this helps with a lot with the noise rejection from external sources. I'll talk a bit about the sound quality of these headphones here. If you are buying this as an all-purpose, using it to watch shows uh, for your gaming and also uh, for listening to music, uh, this is a very good choice because the sound quality is not that bad for the price range. This uh, let me remind you again, 25 US dollars. If you are buying it solely for music, I would actually prefer you spend the money elsewhere. You can get something like this, the Cost Porta Pros or the KFC 75 for way lesser. Uh, I mean, not, not say way lesser, I mean, uh, uh, the price will be more well spent. The money will be more well spent there. I'll put some links in the description where you can buy this also. Okay, for gaming mode, uh, you can do two quick press on the power button and you enter gaming mode there will be some sound effect so, okay the good thing about this headphone is that you don't have the weird voice telling you uh, what mode it is in so they are using sound effects not someone speaking to you so uh, everything is good after you go into gaming mode uh, everything reduces down to 45 millisecond uh, ultra low latency so in that mode, the audio space open up. So it's sort of like a very spacious big room and you get a very nice surround sound kind of feel. Okay, it works really, really well in games, but not so much for anything else. And the latency performance is really, really good. I uh, will do some tests. I'll put the clips right after here. Okay, so now we will talk a bit about the mic quality. The mic quality is really good, but if you are using this on mobile, uh, they have not yet get the Bluetooth uh, mobile voice and uh, audio uh, in sync yet. So there's this problem. Uh, is they, they have all the same problem with all the Bluetooth options out there. Whereas when you use a mic option, when you turn off the PTT inside your Android games, or your iPhone games, the headphones will immediately go into call mode. That means uh, it's a mono audio coming out from your ear. And of course the voice will be will be sort of usable, but you lose all the all the music, all the surround sound uh advantage. Okay, so this is the audio sample directly connected from uh, G5 to my desktop. My desktop is uh, under the table. So uh, this is sound quality. Um, you might find some uh, interference. Uh, that might be because of the room setup. The fan is actually blowing at me right here. So uh, this is the sound quality from the PC. Okay, so this is sound quality connected to my phone using Bluetooth and uh, testing one two three one two three one two three. So in conclusion. Uh, the G5 from Plexstone is a really, really well-built headphone. Uh, they have really, really good functions and a really, really good battery life. For only $25, dollars if you are looking to buy uh, very basic gaming headphones uh, for use with gaming only, um, we would definitely re recommend that. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. If you have any question for the headphones, do leave a comment below and uh, we'll try to answer as best as we can.